respectfully as a union question how OSHA and industry trade associates can form an alliance on safety without any union involvement. I mean, look, we're not whining about it, but we must be perfectly clear. Any group that is really interested in the safety and health of workers cannot, in our opinion, have a real honest discussion regarding the safety and health of workers without involving the men and women who make these plants run. See, the fact of the matter is safety and health is nonpartisan. It's not based on political party. Safety and health is based on fact and statistics. The fact is, and the basis of our concern, it's not partisan. It's a fact that this administration has managed to eliminate or rescind many OSHA regulations since they took office. And as I stated, that's not a partisan position, that's a fact. This administration has eliminated five times as many pending standards as it has completed. For example, this administration has stopped efforts to regulate chemicals used in making semiconductors. Chemicals that have been suspected of causing miscarriages in workers. Then the administration killed a proposal that would have updated lists of the amounts of industrial chemicals to which workers can be exposed to. All of this while we're locked out of the room. We do not have a seat at the table. So excuse our frustration, but for the men and women who work on the plant floor, be it hourly or salary, union or management. Someone has to be in the room when these regulations are discussed. Someone has to be there to speak up for them and their families. So within our frustration, we appeal to our management friends to voice our concern that if this administration want to form coalitions, talk about OSHA regulations, talk about worker safety, then it is imperative that our relationship, our joint efforts, should expand beyond the shop floor. And we appeal to you to raise that issue within those committees that's discussing worker safety. As I said, we're all in this together. See, we are a union in the steel workers that have responded to many different issues regarding health and safety. Today, we are responding to such issues as global warming, air pollution, water pollution, toxic chemicals, ozone depletion, population poverty and the environment. The question is, why do we feel these are union issues? Well, first of all, we feel very strongly that we must protect our children and their world. Secondly, we 
fulfilled at protecting the environment ultimately, ultimately protects our jobs. And thirdly, we feel very strongly that globalization links the environment directly to other union issues of great importance to workers around the world. So I would just like to encourage all of you, and I know there's going to be some discussion later, but I would like to encourage all of you to read our publication of Securing Our Children's World. Our union and the environment. Yes, we believe as a union that we can save the environment and at the same time save jobs. That's what we're about. We're about approaching this issue of safety and health at all levels that's going to ensure that we're going to have safe jobs in the future for our children, that we're going to have an environment that our children can inherit and live in a safe and toxic world. We are a union that take on tremendous challenges. We are a union that looks for allies who share our common concern regarding the safe and health of workers. We are a union that work with our allies to ensure that every day, be it in the steel mills, the rubber plants, in the forestry industry, in the oil industry, wherever workers are at risk, we are a union that will stand out front, stand up tall, and do everything that we can to ensure them the basic fundamental rights of working in a safe and environmentally clean environment.